welcome to the Circle R Ranch. This is the brand new Pete Anderson East Cider Custom. Three years in the making. Pete had this idea, oh, I don't know, five years ago. And uh, we kind of thought we knew what he was talking about. And then uh, it shifted gears a few times in process. So there's some radical prototypes out there. Uh, when we finally got this dialed in, I think that this is this is Pete's and uh, the 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 masterpiece of the Pete and Reverend collaboration. Um, certainly one of the most unique guitars that you can find out there. We are obviously riffing on the East Sider platform, uh, which was our 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 adventure, our dipping our toe into a T style guitar. Uh, we started with the original Pete Anderson model, which was a big giant hollow body back in 2007. And then the East Sider model came along in 2010. And, um, and the East Sider model is a Karina bodied, roasted maple neck T style guitar. We do the T version with the traditional setup and the S version with three pickups and a trim. And then that has been, that has proven to be one of the most popular guitars in the Reverend line. I think we really hit, uh, we really hit the mark with it. It does something very, very unique for that style of guitar, uh, not to mention in our price range. And then that expanded to the, what we refer to as the PA3 guitar, which is the uh, baritone, which is a traditional baritone, unlike the Reverend Descent. It is a big old 28 inch T-style baritone with three pickups and a trim, perfect for the spaghetti western thing. Does, when you grab that low uh, B on that baritone or low C on that baritone, however you have it tuned, uh, it just crushes. And so, Pete then had the idea, since we went in that direction, that he wanted to do a T-style guitar that had maybe some more traditional bluesy type tones, reminiscent, get this, of uh, semi-hollow bodies in the days of old, all right? Um, so this guitar has some very, very original features for a T-style guitar. Uh, let's just start with the construction it is a set neck 24 and 3 quarter scale guitar as opposed to a bolt on 25 and a half. Still features the uh, Reverend Pinlock tuners, of course. Uh, this is a Karina body and our three piece Karina neck with an ebony fingerboard. And it, the Karina body is heavily chambered and it features a maple veneer on the top and the back. Now the maple wasn't put on here for tone necessarily because the Karina is bright and punchy and mid-rangey like those original uh, semi-hollow guitars. However, we really wanted to nail the color and we are calling this classic cherry, uh, which of course we're not the first to do, but that's what it is. Um, and that the maple just really takes this color, this hue very, very well, giving us the gorgeous look, uh, double bound body, very, very lightweight. These all come in around uh, eight pounds and they have that, that very, very open tone. So getting to the pickups, this was the pickups were the trick on this bad boy. Um, this is the Reverend Alnico humbucker in the neck. <laughs> Here, this is this is slightly more mellow than the traditional East Sider. The uh, that 24 and three quarter scale length gives it a little more mellow tone. Um, single note stuff sings. put both pickups on and then we are adding the bridge position humbucker uh, which is a Joe Naylor creation. Think of this as a little more of a traditional PAF style sound than what you normally see when you see rails in a T-style guitar. Um, so when you mix these two together you get that really cool sort of jazzy. <laughs> And 
And then the bridge alone gets a little bit brighter, but not sharp brighter. Like I said, more of a, more of a classic, like semi-hollow tone bright. Here it goes. There's a lot of mid-range still present in the sound, which makes it sound like kind of a, it's got sort of a honky presence to it just right out of the gate. And this is the volume and the tone wide open. And then the Pete Anderson models, all of the East Sider two pickup version of the East Sider models feature a phase switch on the tone control. So if you're looking for even a little bit more mid-range honk. Fun thing to use to cut through the mix, especially with the Tube Screamer. Speaking of that Tube Screamer sound, here's the neck. There it is. Cider Custom. Proud of this one. <laughs>